Okay, it sounds like you want to get rid of the whys, you say. Okay? So the key here is, what, how many times does 6 go into 12? Two times. Two times, okay? So then we're going to multiply by 2. Now, we want them to be opposites, and right now they're the same, right? So we always have to multiply by a negative in order for them to be opposite, right? If they are the same, so it's going to be, say it? Negative 2, good. Okay? And so then I just say negative 2 times negative 5 is? Positive 2. Two negatives make a positive. Negative 2 times negative 6 is? Good. And negative 2 times 8? Negative 16. So always double check. Okay, if I multiply by a negative, then that means that this sign should be positive, this sign should be positive, and this sign should be negative, always opposites. Okay? Alright, now all I do is move this over. Negative 10x, negative 12y, and 16. Now when I add these, what happens? They all cancel out. They all cancel. This cancels, this cancels, that's nothing. These cancel, that's nothing. Does nothing equal nothing? No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Zero is zero, right? In fact, wouldn't you say that these two are the same thing? Right? They are the same <coughs> line. What's going on here is this equation, right? And this equation, they are both creating a line, right? And one of them is just on top of the other. That's it. So it's kind of like I take a line and I draw it, and take another line and draw over it. They're both there, but you only see the last one that you drew. Okay? Alright, so for number 8, we do the same thing. Um, are these the same? No. Are they opposites? No. Okay, well, can I make a 2 into a 5? No. Can I make a 3 into a 7? No. So now I have to think of numbers. So now, what I usually try to get rid of, if both of them are hard, I try to just get rid of the x's. I just try to get, if both of them are just as equally hard, I try to get rid of the x's. Times it by 3. So, yeah, what I want to do is, I want to make... Uh, 1x, a number that the other x can be. So what does 2 and 5 both go into? 10. 10. So how do I make a 5 into a 10? 2. By 2. How do I make a 2 into a 5? By, By 5, right? All right. Now, But they are the same, so I need to make one of them opposite. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So one of them has to be negative. Which one? Top or bottom? Bottom. Okay. Alright, so now 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. And negative 5 times positive 19 is, uh, what is that? Negative, who said it? 95? Nice, I like it. So, the way I was doing it was, Negative 5 times 10 is 50, negative 50, right? And 5 times 9 is 45, and it adds a 2. 50 and 45 is 95, okay? All right, and so now I just add 
add these two up. These cancel. Nope, it's still negative. If I need 14, negative 29. And I, and I need 15 more, I'm negative 29. Alright, but I have 8 bucks, but my bill is $95. I need 95. How much do I have? Or how much do I need? I have eight dollars, but my bill is ninety-five. I need ninety-five. Negative how much do I have? Negative eighty. Negative eighty. Seven. Seven. Good. Good. Nice. Divide. All right. I'm hoping that twenty-nine goes into eighty-seven. Why am I hoping that? Negative, no, three. Because it will only work with no decimal. Yeah, and it's three, and if we think about it, 30, right, goes into 93 times, and 87 <laughs> is three away from 90. So three times three away, okay? And then you plug it in. Now plug it in, yeah. I could go through this whole mess again, or just plug it in. What one do you want to plug in, top or bottom? Uh, is it a bottom? Bottom. Negative 2x plus 3 times 3 equals 19. Okay? What's 3 times 3? 9. Okay? How do I solve for this? How do I start this? Good. Subtract 9. Negative 2x equals 10. Now what? So x is equal to negative 5. So what is my uh, my intercept? Negative 5. 3. Negative 5 and 3. three. Yeah! 